the yellow fields you see here on the right is a, such a typical Danish uh, thing. They are um, canola fields. Did she say canola? Canola. canola. Most of the trees here are oak, beech, and birch trees, mostly hardwoods. There's some pines over there. This is like driving in northern Michigan. Petrol here averages about 1050 a liter. When I came here in, uh, uh, doing the same tour in 2004, the whole village of Fulsbo was decorated uh, because of the wedding of the Crown Prince and Mary Donaldson. Wherever we looked around here, the whole place was decorated with flowers. It was so amazing. They got married in May, and uh, we were here um, two days before the wedding took place. <clears throat> Now here we have this alleyway that leads all the way up to the palace. And you see these funny trees along the along the um, the street. It's poplars, and they trim them. They cut them in a special way so they get to look like that. Now we're going to make a stop at the Baroque Palace of Friedensburg. It's the spring and autumn residence of the Danish royal family. I think this is the palace right straight ahead of us. entrance to the palace.
these houses are oh, where the palace guard where the palace guard lives and so forth or inside of the courtyard we just I just entered in here guys are training in here. You want me to hold your ice cream cone? Mm-hmm. They trim these trees to get them shaped like this. They keep trimming off the new branches. I'm going down here where they're training on my way out.
Size was not a, yeah, exactly. But he definitely took the wrong turn. <laughs> Fredericksborg Castle. You can tap him now if she's waiting. Named from King Frederick. The other castle we were at was Fredsborg. Okay, you can see on each side here two identical buildings. So that was the gatekeepers and the chancellor's uh, residences. And in here, you can see the gates open now, were stable buildings and um, farm equipment buildings. And of course there was a reason for that. This would delay the enemy um, if they were to approach the castle. They had to pass this S-curved bridge. Mm -hmm. And actually this castle is located on three small islands. And this bridge connects two of these small islands before we get to the third one. Um, this tower we see here was a prison tower dungeons that were flooded on occasion in the basement. Mm -hmm. 
are we're supposed to stay with her. I told you that the beautiful <laughs> fountain in Tottenham Palace Garden was stolen by the Swedes. Mm -hmm. There it is. But this is only a copy. <laughs> The Swedes occupied Denmark between 1658 and 1660, and during that time they took away a lot of these Work beautiful quick. things. <laughs> yeah. Where's the real one if that's the copy? They melted that, it down. The real one is in Drottningholm Palace in Stockholm. Oh, it's still there. Yeah, it's still there. Do you remember we, we yeah. were looking out the window in the garden and okay. there was a fountain down there? That's where it is. So that one we know where it is. Okay, but the one this morning, we, yeah. it was melted down. It was melted down, exactly. <clears throat> but your, the rebuilding yeah. of this castle, as I said, was done by Christian IV. He was born uh, the son of Frederick II. He was born in 1577. And uh, as a very young man, when he became king, he was only about 20 years old when he became king. This was not elaborate enough for him. He loved building and he loved the Dutch Renaissance. So he is the one who actually started all this Renaissance style. And if you look at all those uh, niches with uh, statues in it, they used to be made out of marble. And they were not made here. They were made in Holland in marble and transported up here. Now there's been fires, there's been decay, there's been lots of things going on. Today it's sandstone. It's not the original marble ones anymore. But you still get the idea. Beautiful. And a lot of people here are dressed as Roman, uh, um, what do you call them, uh, um, emperors. Gladiators. They, yeah, and warriors. He liked to depict himself like that. <laughs> He started off by building the King's Wing, which is the wing behind us. That was the first, of course, his own living quarters that he started off with. 15, oh, um, 1606, sorry. He built the chapel wing, which is this one. And this beautiful window we have over here with the, all the gold decorations on it. It shows you where in the chapel was the king's seat. He was seated right inside there, but he wanted it to be so elaborate and so decorated so people would know, ah, that is where the king is seated. He later added the, queen, uh, the princess's uh, wing for the people of the court and for the princesses and for the ladies of the court. And again, all these statues were made in Holland in marble originally and, and transported up here. Where? Where were they made? Holland. They just dissolved or something like They're not marble, are they? No. There's been fires, there's been decay. Um, now they're made in sandstone. So these are replicas? These are replicas, yes, of the original ones. In December 1859, there was a huge fire here that destroyed statues, for example. Um, the chapel was only partly destroyed, but there was, of course, a lot of damage done to the castle. But thanks to Brewer Jacobson, Brewer Jacobson, you heard about him yesterday. He was the one who donated the Little Mermaid. Mm -hmm. um, Brewer J Jacobson was uh, the brewer from Carlsberg beer. And he was very interested in art. So he was the initiator in funding the rebuilding mm -hmm. of this castle. Um, and today it is a national museum in Denmark. But let's go inside. I will go and get tickets for everybody. He used it for hunting. And of course they ate the deer. Luckily, there was blueprints of all this, so they could reconstruct it. So they Again. recarved all this? Yes, they did. Whatever was damaged, they redid. It. it must have cost a fortune. The 
Empire was in 1859, and already by 1885, it was the only Yeah, Excuse me? you Exactly. <laughs> This is where they ate. These are the coat of arms of uh, different uh, knights. This is the most exquisite castle that we've ever been to. This place is, this place is unreal. Now here from here on you start seeing coat of arms belonging to the Order of the Elephant. And you can see they're white ground and they have the elephant underneath. And these are all orders that have been, it's the highest order you can get, the highest recognition you can get from Denmark. And they're all given to people who have extinguished themselves in one way or the other. Um, uh, President Eisenhower has one, for example, um, I'll show you they're all on the other side. And of course, all the royals have one. When you die, you have to give it back. It doesn't sort of, you can't hand it down to anybody in the family. You give it back to Denmark. You can see here the elephant. And this one belongs to Leopold Frederick, Duke of Anhalt, a, a German duke of some kind. The closer you get to the end, the uh, more exquisite they are. <laughs> so did they all get put in here when they come back? This, this whole part used to be the chamber of the knights, where the king would meet with his knights. So do all of these come back to this place when they come yeah, back? Yeah, not the, the coat of arms, they always hang they here, here. But they do have the order, the blue sash. Oh, they do okay. have the elephant. They have a, a brooch order. And all that comes back, okay. is given back. Yes. And are these they still awarding forever. these today? Are they still award these today? Oh, yeah. So yeah, 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 yeah. They do. When 24th of May, sorry. When uh, the young, the young uh, prince marries his French fiance, she will get one automatically. This is the queen's. This is queen's. Prince Henry's. Prince Henry. Yeah. The crown prince. And over, over here, you have the younger prince, the one who's getting married on the 24th of May, mm -hmm. Prince Joachim. And this is the crown princess, Mary, Princess of Denmark. Mm. Mm. No, these coat of arms, they hang here forever. They don't take them home. Okay. But the sash and the elephant and the order and okay. all that, those are the ones they have to give back. Okay. So now we can take our flash pictures up okay. here. You're not allowed to use no. flash in No. So you're not allowed to use flash. No. Can I close it?
Well, I, I, I did zoom in. When you were over there by the window, I zoomed in a little bit. Well, don't zoom in. Dates back to 1610. Yes, it does get played on occasion, but usually they use the organ at the other end because this is an ordinary parish church. Oh, yes. Yeah, oh, yes, it is. It is in use. It was the most important wedding, the first wedding of the younger prince, the one who's getting married again. He got married in 1995. This is the chapel. This is the chapel where all the uh, all these coats of arms are, and this is a uh, this is an organ here. But this is the most elaborate castle that we that you could ever dream of. This place is something. The workmanship in this place is beautiful. Whoops, I'm sorry. Montgomery. Right here is the White Eisenhower's coat of arms that they awarded to him. This will be here forever. pictures are beautiful these pictures these pictures aren't isn't this place something else this is breathtaking this is a this is an organ that's the organ we just passed a few minutes ago There's a pipe organ. Uh, there's a still picture flash. What? When you take a still picture, does it flash? Uh, not, no, not that much at all. Why? Oh, Did you want me to take some still pictures? Take one still picture of this because you know what? 